Okay, I'm here in Hicksville. This is the SEIU meeting that's supposed to have today, or rally of some kind. Apparently, the Tea Party goers here beat them to it. I don't see any anybody from the SEIU yet. Uh, we're on the corner of New Bridge Road and Duffy Avenue in Hicksville, just south of the train station, the Hicksville's train station. And um, there seems to be a big gathering here, and it's mostly apparently from Tea Party goers who are uh, protesting the Obamacare. And we were expecting to see SEIU, the uh, Service Employers International Union, the biggest union in the country. Uh, we were expecting to see them here too, but so far I don't see any of them. So I'll just introduce some of these uh, Tea Party goers. One second. All right, flip it. This one is. All right, very, real good, Ernie. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take a view here of some of the signs that are here. You guys, oh, you guys want the public app? Oh, oh yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Are you guys with SEIU? CWA. We're with America. CWA. Yeah. We're are you with America? Side. I think these people are too, aren't they? No. Yeah? What? With SEIU? No, they're with with America. You said you're with America. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So everybody's here to protest and their views. All right. I'll get back to you guys. I want to maybe get a little interview, find out what you uh, particularly like about the public option. Okay. for the public option, right? Yeah. Yep. You feel comfortable with the government controlling that much of the economy? No problem at all, right? Did you guys like Bush? Did you like Cheney? I have nothing to say to you. You have nothing to say? Well, here's to a you. chance to give you an opinion. I have nothing to say to you. Say it to the American people. It's going to be on YouTube. You got nothing to say to the people. Why are you for the public option? You're holding a sign. These people are willing to talk. Why aren't you? You trust the government that much, huh? You trust? Did you trust Bush and Cheney? What if they get elected again? They're going to have this bill. They're going to be able to control it. And they're going to control the public option. You don't care about that? As long as Obama controls it, it's fine. But he's not going to be president forever. You know that, right? Okay, stay silent. Thank what you. Do you. What do you think about uh, all these uh, 47 million people that don't have... Uh, yeah. What do you and, think about that? Okay, I think part of it is our legal aliens. Do you believe that? No, you don't believe that, right? But the public That's option doesn't, doesn't make any provision for uh, illegal aliens. Oh, oh, no, but uh, did you read the bill? <laughs> Did you read the bill? I read some of it, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and so, where did, uh, did you know that... What does it have to do with illegal aliens? Because this, because yeah. everybody's going to get covered, okay? It's a universal health care plan that everybody's going to get covered under. American citizens. Okay. That's what we're And out of that 47 million, do you know that people who make over 75,000, a lot of them choose just not to have health insurance? That's their choice. That's 12 million people. How about that? 
And how about another 10 million who qualify for Medicare? How about another 12 million who qualify for Medicare and Medicaid? And she's not to be honest. Okay? So you guys really have nothing, uh, nothing, nothing to say about it. Okay, thanks anyway. I just read the show now. Wow. Okay, they were doing I don't know, I'm a member of the whole thing. I'm not sure I Okay, these guys over here uh, don't want to talk about why they're for the public option. Do you guys want to say why you're against the public option or the uh, health care bill? actually for liberty. <laughs> right? Free choice. Free choice, that's exactly free, free, free right. Free choice, okay. Do you believe Obama when he says he's not for the uh, single-payer system? No. Not, a, no not at all. You don't believe him? No, I don't. Okay. I've seen actual film of him stating quite the opposite. So you think he's probably setting up a system where he's leading toward the single payer. He's probably not going to start off that said. way. So he's heading toward it in, in piecemeal. Right. So it can't be done okay. instantaneously. We have to Did anybody pay you guys? Right. Did anybody pay you to be here? Nobody paid me. Nobody paid you to be here. Were you guys bust in? I had to take time off of work to be here. Okay. And you guys live on Long Island? Yes. yes. Absolutely. I'd okay. like to know what happened to all the transparency he talked about. And now you can't find out anything about what Congress is doing in any of the revision the of the Aurora or the White House. Everything was going to be up on websites. We were all going to be able to get to everything immediately. So you feel Obama's promise for transparency fell flat, huh? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so he went back on his word on that then. Yes, sir. And his um, attempt to create a bipartisan government, you don't think that's working either, huh? <laughs> Oh, you're laughing, he huh? verbalizes it, not. I don't see the no. action except that he rented a house from He's a Republican. He's vilifying us for being well. out here. But wasn't uh, Bush accused of, uh, of not having a bipartisan um, approach to government? Wasn't he accused of that? Yes, he was. Okay, and didn't Obama run on the platform that he was going to fix that? Yes, he was going to bring us all together. Right. Okay, you don't, you don't feel like we're all one big happy I family now? I so. Okay. We wouldn't be out here if we were all <laughs> one big right. happy family. That would be an angry mob. Okay. That oh. doesn't sound like oh. establishing a bipartisan. Are you angry? I'm not angry. No, you're, uh, so you don't feel like I'm you're part of the mob, huh? I'm angry that they're trying to take my liberty away and my free okay. choice of choosing But that's like, um, that's like righteous indignation. That's a little different than just pure anger, right? Right. Are you part of the militia groups out there? No. <laughs> yeah, you don't train every day in the in the uh, in the woods with uh, paintball guns yeah. and uh, camouflage. Oh, yeah. out. Right. After this, you're gonna change into your khakis and your camouflage. There you go. Sure, right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, News 12 is here. Okay, News 12 has uh, been present at a couple of rallies so far lately. I think they finally woke up and understand that these people are really uh, impassioned about their opposition to Obamacare and to the basic uh, socialist takeover of the government that they it's feel is happening. It's not just healthcare issues. It's and uh, I think News 12 is beginning to realize that these people uh, watch right, them the and, um, and their sponsors and, and that they should be taking them more seriously. Um, I don't want uh, the government here to stand on my healthcare. Uh, I've read the bill and it doesn't make any sense and they left a lot of stuff out. Absolutely 